Hey, Magic fans, we're back again. Captain Clyde here and Captain Clyde's MTG. Digging in to another box of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. So the last box wasn't as hot as the first one from this case. But hey, you know, it turned out better than I thought at the end. Which, I isn't saying a lot, honestly, but hey, you do what you can, right? And you always hope for the best. That's why I do these videos so you guys know whether or not to buy boxes or buy singles. Also helps feed that crack pack in need so you ain't gotta waste your money cracking packs. You can waste mine. Nice two lands there. So, remember guys, trade tables and seat backs to fill up right position as we take off into the realm of crack packing. So, as always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, put some comments down below. It's going to feed that YouTube algorithm as we look. Oh, I thought that was going to be something good. As we travel on our way and looking for 1,000 subscribers for the channel. So tell your friends, tell your family, let everybody know. In the meantime, if you've done everything else you can do, there's a link in the description to the eBay store where you can go check out all the cards from the box opening videos up for sale and get the cards that you need for your favorite Magic decks to play with your friends. And you know that they're real, they're packed fresh, and you can even see them on the video. Empiric Feast. Nothing too special there. So Neon Dynasty's made a pretty good splash inside of Standard. It's sh it's shaking up the whole meta. Uh, for those of you who actually play a little bit of Standard, uh, we've got Rakdos Sacrifices back again. Ooh, March Burgeoning Life Showcase. Very nice. Decent rare. Followed up by a March of Swirly Mists. Okay. Spirit Realm's not bad. So we've got Rakdos Sacrifice, we've got Enchantment decks floating around now. Uh, Swirling Mist that you just saw seems to be a staple in a lot of blue decks as they phase their creatures out uh, when you're trying to do stuff to them, kill them, block them, remove them in general, or even just try to hit them, for example. They phase their stuff out so you can't kill their things. Ooh, another foil beckoning Reign of Truth. That thing's got to be worth money. Uh, speaking of the Enchantment deck... Uh, that Reign of Truth there is uh, a pretty powerful card, along with a few others. Oh, excuse me, I got an itch. There's our first Mythic Pounding Sky. Not a good one, but a Mythic nonetheless. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Showcase Farewell Foil Rare. Very nice. So I'm going to guess that one's about $15. That is a really good hit. So this box is off to a pretty decent start. We're almost through the first third, first third of the box already, though. Uh, so we might be a little behind already. Needed that definitely to catch up. Just need to get some more, uh, some more big hits. Sorry, I thought I saw something down there. And Leaf Avenger, Foil Kami. Oh yes, the Foil Island, love it. Well, we have Lizard Blades, a Common, and a Tree Guy. Little old Kamigawa sitting in there. Alright, Weaver of Harmony. Not the best rare, but it's okay. Ooh, Go Shinto, the Boundless Vigor. That's a foil shrine. Foil shrines are always going to be probably worth a little bit of money just because they are shrines and 
you know, they're being foiled and commander guys out there love playing out those commander decks. Man, I want to get this card as an actual magic card. It looks so sweet. All right, Thousand Face Shadow. Man, where are the Mythics and everything else at? We had one really good, really solid pack. Oh, there's a stamp on Tamio. Tamio, Tamio. You say Tamio, I say Tamio. Tomato, tomato. Anyway, moving right along. The Ganjo Uprising. Ugh. Foil. Wow, we need to start hitting some stuff here. Uh, I mean, we caught up there for a minute, but we're falling behind quick. Any hey, ganjo? It's not a bad rare to get. Huh, bad foil. Do to do. There is a nice one. Ooh, foil swamp. Man, it's nice. Come on, baby. Something juicy. Let's see it. Spice. Yeah, cami, cami, whatever. Uh, malicious. Ugh, strength of night from Apocalypse. Well, it really doesn't bring back memories though. I remember opening Apocalypse packs back in the day. Well, there's a mythic. Unfortunately, it's from Commander, not worth anything. Wah, wah. So, mythic number two. Oh, two mythic pack. Unfortunately, the Kami War is still worth nothing. Wow, and a foil Iganjo Uprising. Two mythics and a foil rare in one pack. Sadly, uh, the value of all three of those cards are not enough to actually pay for that pack. That's just sad. Oh, there we go. Blade of the Oni. Not too bad. A couple bucks. Rare number four. It's not too shabby. We'll take it. Starting to catch up. We'll get a few more Mythics. We might be able to head toward that record. So far, our record's only nine. We managed to get to nine Mythics in one box and one box only. Sadly, the most expensive box we had, this is not the box that had the record number of Mythics. If that tells you how that's going. So, uh, I guess the best thing about that, it does show that there are value in the in the box outside of Mythics. So, and a lot of that value in this is the showcase foils or foils in general. Seem to be commanding a pretty high premium right now. So, that's kind of neat. A little beautiful foil. So that is a nice change. Uh, I mean, foils always always do give a premium, but uh, it seems like the foils in this set are, are commanding more of a premium than normal. So it's very interesting. I think the set in general is just being received a lot better by the actual market and by the players, which is why the price value is a little higher than normal. Noxious Toad. Come on, something, G, something good. Let's see some spice. We still have not yet pulled a Phyrexian language card. Uh, the last time they had Phyrexian language cards, out of 18 boxes, we pulled one. If that tells you anything. So, ooh, Arcade is a strategist. It is a mythic. So, mythic number five from the list. Not the best. Uh, Arcades has been on the list for a while. I think he's down to like four or five bucks now. But we'll take it. It's better than some of the other stuff we could be getting, I guess. All right, scrap welder, boil common, nothing. Down to the last third of the box. Yep. From Commander, regular rare, foil, 
Nothing. I seen online where the Mecha Titan token AO get it AO I'm sorry I can't help myself I can't help myself dang it another bad foil uh, the Mech Titan token is going for like five dollars from this set that is crazy just thought about that yep. There's a blue land in there. Sorry if you guys missed that. Hey, there's another another mythic. Uh, mythic number six. Spirit Sisters Call. Not too bad. And yeah, Born to Drive. Good old sister supplier out of nowhere. Commander Rare again. Eh, regular Rare. Ooh, a Foil Commander Rare. And a Strangled Root Geist. That's a pretty good pack. So, third Foil. That's about five bucks. I've got one of those already. Strangled Root Geist, I think, is floating around about five dollars, too. So, that's a decent pack. Pretty good. That's definitely going to help out the money-wise. Ugh, trash land. Give me the Japanese lands. I don't want the American ones. Farewell. There's a good couple bucks. Foil. Four packs left. We are at six mythics. We can get to ten if we can pull a mythic out of every pack. Okay, that's doable, right? Oh, that's not a mythic. <clears throat> nope, that's not either. We've already got a rare and a mythic from the list. It might be kind of hard to get anything else out of the list. We can always hope, though. Ooh, very pretty foil forest. Love it. And a lion slash. Worth a couple bucks. All right, foil. Two packs left. Still looking for that fabled Phyrexian language card. Man, that was hard to get. No wonder they're so expensive. All right, invoke the ancients. Eh, uncommon. Ooh, a night and day from uh, Apocalypse. Not too shabby. Don't think it's worth anything, but boy, it does bring back memories. The art, the card, the set. Man, it's fun times. Kiki Jiki. All right, Island. All right, last pack of the video. Looking for some spice. I think I see some spice back there. Is that common? It's okay. Uncommon. Eganjo. There it is. A very nice showcase, Eganjo. And a Kami. And oh, nothing else. Well, all in all, not a bad box. Um,. I think it's probably going to get around what we've been getting. So, until next time, guys, be kind. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope to see you across from the game table. But until then, let's open some more boxes, and I'll see you tomorrow.